Welcome to Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at dupes for many of the items in the Pottery Barn Holiday Lookbook. That was my last video. If you haven't seen that, please take a look after this one. It is chock full of holiday splendor, Pottery Barn style. Pottery Barn really knows how to do the holidays right. And given that, I suggest if you have the budget, absolutely purchase their items. But if you don't have the budget, I think this video will help you find the look for less. In the background of the comparisons, you'll see two different paint colors. I do this in all of my dupe videos, and then we'll show you at the end which paint colors they are, but a little hint is that they're the 2024 top picks by Bear for this year. Almost all of the items in this are holiday items, except for these gorgeous blue chairs. I had a lot of requests and comments, people asking, could you please find a dupe for those? So I found something very decent and an excellent price. Stay tuned to the end for that. And here's our first dupe. The handcrafted brass bells by Pottery Barn are very popular, and I found a really nice dupe at World Market. These are the large gold metal bells hanging decor, $69.99. What I think is really nice about this option is that there is something to hang them on that comes with it. So that just makes life simpler. These do happen to be a decor item that you could use all year round. And I did see it on a television design recently in a new home that they were showing. So I think it's fine to use it all the time. So it might be a decent buy for that reason too. You're getting to use it all year. Pottery Barn's ornament candles are really beautiful. And I think a lot of times they're given as a gift. So another option that could save you some money is this ornament candle from Sir La Table. Now that name is actually a very trusted and high quality name, just like Pottery Barn. So I think you could save money and still give a lovely gift. And I put on the photo there just what sort of uh, scents are in this and it sounds beautiful. Pottery Barn's extensive gingerbread collection is very fun for the holidays. And I did find a really cute dupe for the mug that's lidded. So this is also found at World Market. It's uh, a gingerbread house figural lidded ceramic mug, $12.99, and that compared to $19.50. If you have more of the collection of Pottery Barn, then obviously you should get their mug so that everything coordinates. And I like both equally, but I'm so in love with all of the gingerbread things from Pottery Barn. And I have to tell you that the Holiday Village from their gingerbread collection is not something I can find a dupe for. So if you're really into that, that is the one to purchase. This peppermint swirl condiment tray from Pottery Barn was one of my favorite items in the lookbook. And I did say I like the way that it's presented. It would be fun to put your holiday cookies out when you have unexpected guests or expected. Anyway, uh, I found a nice uh, look for less. I think the item is so unique that it would be hard to find the exact same thing, maybe next year when everyone copies it. But I did find this really cute looking dish at Joann's. So it's 15 inches wide and it gives you three different sections, which is kind of similar in theme. And I just like the swirls. Very nice for $20.29. Pottery Barn's wood bind taper candle holder is $99. It really makes a beautiful table centerpiece, but it looks nice on a coffee table there as well. So I found a great dupe for it at Piper Classics. This is made of recycled wood. It handles nine candles and it's only $47. This store is of good quality. It's in Pipersville, Pennsylvania. It was opened in the 80s by two sisters and they grew up on a farm or something. Anyway, I just thought it was a nice story and they do have cute things, a lot of farmhouse things, but I wouldn't call them necessarily modern, but I would imagine you would like the price on this better than the $99. This dainty star garland from Pottery Barn was one of my absolute favorites in the lookbook. And I think that it is a great value for being so beautiful. Obviously you would keep that for a lifetime, I would hope. Anyway, um, and you might need two, so then you're looking at double that price. But I found a dupe that I don't like as much, but I love the price. It's $26.88. It's from Sullivan Home. 
and it is their 54 inch wide garland. So you would might need three of those, I don't know. But these are both beautiful. I found another dupe that I like a lot too. This one is gold and it has stars and bells, but it's only $9.99 for a 48 inch width. And this is found at World Market, a store I love. You probably, if you've watched all of my videos, you probably heard me go on and on about how much I love this store. So I won't do that again right now, but um, if you ever have a chance to go in one, do. So I think this one's pretty too, if also if you like gold in your decor more. The peppermint pillow at Pottery Barn was all the rage last year. They sold out. People were going crazy trying to find other dupes themselves. And Kirkland's had one, but I don't think it was less expensive than the Pottery Barn. Anyway, now you have another option this year if you're still into it. And they are back in stock at Pottery Barn. So this one is from Joanne and it's $23.99. Pretty cute. It's a brighter red. And if you do have more of a bright red hue around your house, with your holiday decor, then this would be a good match. I found a really cute option. If you liked the tray, just like I did in the Pottery Barn lookbook, um, let me just say, if you love it like I did, and you wanna save some money and at least have something to serve things on that look like it in the holidays, we've got two of them for $9.50 at a company called Let's Party Girl. I've never heard of it before, but I have heard of Draper James. That is Reese Witherspoon's uh, company. And these are from her company, but they weren't available on her website, I checked. We'll put this in the category of the look for less. The Pottery Barn Winter Dreams handcrafted reversible quilt cannot be duplicated. I did try, but I found some lookalikes that are kind of fun. So first of all, this is just a throw quilt and it's $59. This was found at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's nowhere near as adorable as the Pottery Barn, but if you want that look and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, or maybe you didn't wanna dress a bed with it, here's a great, great opportunity to only spend $60 as opposed to $2.99 to $3.49. Guys, I was really working hard at trying to find a dupe for this quilt, so take a look at another fun idea. There is a free pattern on this blog called Fat Quarter Shop, and I linked it in the description box. Everything's linked in the description box, by the way. So um, you could make it yourself, and it's supposed to be easy. Whether it is or not, I couldn't tell you for sure, but I won't be attempting that with a lot of things going on in anticipation of the holidays, but um, take a look or download it just in case you ever do wanna make it. We've had so much talk about quilts, but a lot of people are into duvets. So here's one from Amazon, and it has the same flavor of the quilt, so it's got that cute tree on it. I love the idea that it mixes in uh, plaid and that it has that burlap look, so it would be nice for modern farmhouse and just kind of natural looking. Well, I hope you like this too, and at only $80 compared to $2.99, Pretty good. Pottery Barn has such an abundance of plaid bedding at the holidays, and there are so many to choose from. I really do love them all, but I just decided to choose the Stort plaid and get a comparison, and I found a great one at Target. This is $79 for a queen versus the $199, and it is made of cotton, 100% cotton. So I think that's a pretty good steal. I love the idea of spelling out Mary with this set of stocking holders, and they come in a set at Pottery Barn for $139. I tried to find the exact same thing, uh, but I didn't manage to find Mary, but I found a Joy and a Noel on Amazon, uh, $27 and $37 each. By the way, this Mary and these dupes would look so fantastic with the Star Garland. Um, I just think that would be a nice uniform look. I mentioned Piper Classics earlier, and I was browsing their site just out of interest, and I found these wooden snowflakes, and Pottery Barn has them too, so I thought I would compare. For the set of three at Pottery Barn, it's $1.99, and if you add up the prices of the different sizes at Piper, it's $89, so that's a great savings, and I'm sure that these are high quality as well. 
I was never asked to find a dupe by someone that I know so far, but I did uh, just the other day from my sister-in-law. She wanted me to find a dupe for this uh, snowman pillow, and I did. So at Joann's, they have something semi-similar, and it's $23.99 compared to the $79.50. I also found another option for her that I thought was even cuter, and I'll just put that in the description box because it's really not a dupe. The gingerbread theme continues into Pottery Barn's pillows. This one actually was from last year, and there's also now this year a girl gingerbread woman. Anyway, so I found this dupe at Joanne. It is not as nice considering the fabric, but I think it's much cuter. I think the Pottery Bar Barn one is actually a little bit scary, <laughs> and this one is just fun and cute. And here is the girl version. So um, I found my dupe at a different store though. So can you see what I mean? The Pottery Barn uh, Gingerbread Girl is kind of scary as well. All right, so I found this one at Red Balloon Company and it's called the Jelly Cat Jolly Gingerbread Ruby. So it's $21.95, a much better price. I really like this Pottery Barn Santa figurine. It would go perfectly with aged vessels. It's shown with one there. It looks nice with all of this natural decor a lot of people have. The price, as a matter of fact, is very good for a figurine of Santa at the holidays, a good quality one. So it's $79. But I did find a wonderful dupe. So the Ocean Springs Mercantile White Stoneware Santa is $20, and it is just as tall as the Pottery Barn. Uh, but if you have the budget, that Pottery Barn is really, really a nice figurine. Pottery Barn is mad for plaid, and these dishes are gorgeous. I found a great dupe, though. So this is called 222, I guess you would say, Fifth and Wexford. It's a 12-piece dinnerware set for $73. So you're getting four place settings for $73. And compare that to just getting four plates for $69.50 at Pottery Barn. And these do look very gorgeous. There weren't a lot of images, but I like the idea that it has those symbols on the salad plates. You, you're kind of changing it up. But I have another option for you as well. If you wanted to really mix it up, there are six different plaid uh, pattern plates at Target, and they're by the company Certified International. They make a lot of holiday uh, dinnerware, but it's only $33 to get the six plates and that would be a really fun casual look. These country holiday plates from Pottery Barn are really cute. I like the salad plates better than matching it with that regular plate. Um, and now you see more of the pieces there. So I found a great dupe at Walmart. It's by a company called Gibson. A lot of people, a lot of retailers sell Gibson, so you could find it somewhere else if you wanted to. But um, the Christmas Twall 16 piece set is $48. I am so tempted. Um, I like the fact that it has more than just a barn thing happening. It looks like a small town. I don't know. It looks like Christmas cards that I sent out my first year of marriage. I was browsing through a store called Boscov's and they do sell products online. And they had a lookalike for the Tahoe collection from Pottery Barn. They don't have plates, they just have the set of stackable mugs. And for $11.99, I thought that would be a really fun thing to add to your holiday decor in your kitchen. I featured this cute little dog pillow. It's called the Lux Dog Pillow. And I knew I wouldn't find something just like it, but I did find this crazy little energetic animated singing holiday plush. And I'll show you a video of it, but it's $25. So this is nowhere near the same thing. And it's not as upscale, of course, as their dog. But if you wanted something really silly to show your guests uh, on Christmas, that would be really fun. In my search for your dupes, I did uncover something really fun. So this is a uh, cookie cutter and it shapes so that you can put it, obviously like you see there, on your coffee cups or I suppose you could do it on teacups. But I thought, oh, what a fun way to add gingerbread into the mix and to not have to have something then that sits in the closet for you know the rest of the year. Um, and perhaps delicious. It does come with a recipe apparently, and it's a real Nordic product. So I thought this was cool. All right, let's get to that blue chair. I think the shape and material of these chairs are just 
wonderful. And I could see why a lot of people got excited about them. In particular, people thought that it looked very gorgeous with that green paint, and it does, doesn't it? But did you ever hear the saying, uh, blue and green should never be seen? Um, well, guess what? They should be seen together because this looks wonderful. Anyway, um, I found some great dupes at Target. So you're not going to believe this. You're going to get two recliners for $453. That's unbelievable. I do feel like if you can get a recliner in a chair, why wouldn't you want one? That just gives you so many more options to relax. Now, the thing missing from this is the exact shape and the velvet, which I like so much about the other two. But if you wanna get that look and you can't afford the 849 going up to 1349, it depends on the fabric that you pick, um, then this is a really great price to get that look. Let's talk about the paint colors that are featured in the background of the video. So the first one is Cracked Pepper by Bear. This is their color of the year for 2024. Now, a dark gray has been in style for, what is it, three years now, something like that. The way that they style these and the designs that they used do make it very appealing. If you are going to sell your house within the next five years, do not use this paint. You need to go with something more neutral. But if you're not, and you want something very dramatic, I think this is gorgeous. I am selling my photographs on a website, and that is linked in the description box. And they're $4 per photo for these cornfields, which I thought would be nice for modern farmhouse decor. And then I'm showing you a dupe for frames to hang them in, linked as well. But anyway, here are a couple of the photos, and I thought that they would look good in a set of four. So, and only $4 each for the digital download. Um, and then let me show you another set. Here is a set of six pine trees, and there's a lot of natural light flowing through. They're very cool. So in a set of six, um, I'm showing them there, but here are the individual photos. I like uh, taking photos in black and white. I think it's very dramatic, and it just blends in with your decor a little bit better. So these are also $4 a piece for the digital downloads. And, you know, I showed you that dupe for the excellent frame that could go with it. So the other paint color that's featured is Even Better Beige by Bear, and this is in their Color Trends 2024. I think it's a really pretty beige, and it, they have um, it displayed in these really nice designs showing you the paint in different lights. One of the things I thought was really good was showing it on an exterior, and it's pretty with the uh, black trim, very nice. Let's get to my Pottery Barn announcement. Pottery Barn is introducing a luxe look. It reminds me a lot of Restoration Hardware. We have items with soft curved edges, sofas with curved edges. So also rich textured rugs with more color. And the cheetah pillow is a great example of a luxe item. So I'm just showing you images of some of, some of the things that I've noticed that are a little different than the usual. And I'm glad we have more options. And I wonder what your thoughts are too. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think of these new looks.